One way a lot of people are updating their spaces these days is by adding decorative wood trim to their walls to create impact. But when it comes to painting it out, there are some things to keep in mind. So here with a lesson, we've got Sharon Grack. <laughs> There are some things we need to keep in mind, and that's why you're here with us, Sharon, right? Absolutely, Trace. Now, we think of traditional molding in ornate period homes, right? Mm. Like historical spaces. And I think that was typical, but I think we're really seeing that decorative molding is having a moment today, yeah. right? In any style of home. And people are really excited to make a statement in, in their space, whether it's a feature wall, maybe you inherited the picture frame molding. Yeah. But it's a really fun way to, to make a statement. But you're right, painting can make it or break it. Yes. <laughs> right? So for me, it never really went out of style. As long as it's like beautiful, straight lines, yes. nothing curly cute, yeah. <laughs> I am into it. So let's talk a little bit about how you might want to think about painting it out. We're going to yeah. start here. You've got contrast happening, yes. right? So this is like you've got it flaunted. Yes. So paint the trim a different color. And this is actually a really traditional method. You know, in, in antiquity, they were making, artists were making the molding out of plaster That's or right. carpenters were installing it, which of course still happens, but mm -hmm. you can also get DIY kits now, so yes. it's definitely not such this big status symbol. But if you want to draw attention to it, still paint it out. Yeah. Paint it out with white. Now this isn't a strong contrast, because I've got Chippendale rose tone mm -hmm. and intense white, so it's still a little bit subtle, but you definitely create this, you see the pattern, mm -hmm. right? Your eye is drawn to it. Um, but I've seen it also with really graphic punch. So I've got a traditional home, it's all painted white, and then there's black outlines on oh, the trim. Yes. So imagine painting that out black. When you see that, it feels very graphic and poppy and definitely a lot more modern. So. Absolutely, and I like that black and white in that situation. Yeah. Let's talk about painting the whole thing out because a lot of people will opt for that and yeah. I'd be into that. Yeah, and I think that there's different ways of painting it all out and it's how the sheen can impact too as well yes. as the color. So I know you love dark colors. Yeah. I love dark colors. This is a really dark teal called Newberg Green and in the high gloss, actually it's not high gloss, it's only semi gloss, Ooh. but it really draws your attention a bit more subtly though yeah. to the dimension. So yeah. it's a great way if you don't want to have too much attention, like when we painted a different color, but you still want to call it out. And this dark, moody style, I think, is so cool. Um, and again, it's kind of very luscious and dramatic yes. and sophisticated. Now, if you do go for a gloss, even a semi-gloss, know that it's going to show everything. It is going it's to like show everything. It's like wearing shiny pants. <laughs> exactly. Everything's there. Exactly. So yeah. you got to be prepared for that. Yes. So if your walls aren't in great shape, it's going to show that up, okay? Yeah. So, so yeah, because it's going to show the definition that you want. It's mm. also going to show the definition that you that don't you want. That you don't want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's move on down to this one. Yeah. Gorgeous. Love the light color, but also that it's it's matte. Right? I like that. You can really see it, especially in comparison with the sheen beside it. Yeah. This is matte. This is hint of violet. It almost looks white yes. here. So, again, it's all about contrast. But this is a great method when you want to kind of camouflage it a little bit more. So, maybe you, you buy into a home that has the picture frame molding. You don't really love it. Paint it all out before you remove it because you might yes. regret it. Paint it all out with matte. It doesn't draw a lot of attention. It's a great way to, um, if you've got a lot going on in the house, you've got a lot of pictures, you've got right. a lot of mirrors, it's a nice thing because it kind of doesn't draw as much attention to itself. Yeah, it calms everything down, right? Yes. Okay, or you can color block, which is a beautiful way to do uh, the walls if you're a bit more adventurous, I would say. Yes, you definitely want to be more adventurous here and you can yeah. use, and, and again, you could just treat it like Wayne Scott and just do the yep. white along the bottom and do a little bit of a color on top. But mm -hmm. you can also do unexpected color combinations. And I'm seeing a lot of people approaching their paneled walls this way. And I think it's really fun. Yeah. So you can do it in one room. You can have it going all the way up a hallway. I've actually got a great shot of a big, large foyer and stairwell where the dark color is painted below the trim and then the light color above. So again, mm -hmm. it feels graphic. It feels modern. So you're drawing attention to the picture frame molding. But, but again, more of an action accent of color and and, uh, and and placement of color. So I think it's, yeah. it's a lot of fun. And there's so much you can do, and you can really change the look and style to express yourself and express the look that you want. I love adding any kind of architectural details. It's just when it comes to hanging the art in the mirrors and what have you, do you have any tips for us? <laughs> yes, so that's a, that's an interesting point. Um, I used to think, okay, i got to hang everything inside. Yeah. But now I want to hang it 
on top. Get a big, bold piece of art or a mirror. Yes. Hang it on top. Have the dimension so that it comes into the room. Mm. And for me, I just want to make sure that I put it so that it's symmetrical and you yes. still see the other sides of the trim. Right. So or you'll drive Sharon. It 